Let's try to sketch some polynomials and understand how to sketch them. Okay, now when you are given a polynomial like this one, fx equals to 2x squared x minus 1 times x plus 2 whole square. Now in this case, you can find zeros because it is in the factored form. So let's write down the zeros here. Zeros are the values of x for which function value becomes 0. Okay, That means the y value becomes 0. To get a 0, we have to equate each factor to 0 and find out when does it become 0. Okay, For example, x square. When will x square be 0? When x is equal to 0. right? When will x minus 1 be 0? You equate x minus 1 to 0 and then you get x equals to 1. How about this? x plus 2 equals to 0, then you get x equals to minus 2. So, for the points 0, 1 and minus 2, we'll get zeros of our function. Now, let's look into the order of these zeros. Order is also called multiplicity. How many zeros at that point? Okay. Now, here we see that the order is 2, right? Here, the order is 1. And here the order is 2. How does order and 0 combine together and how do they reflect on a graph? Well, if the order is 0, then it turns from there, it bounces back like a parabola, right? And if the order is 1, it just goes through like a straight line. So in this case, we'll see that when we draw a graph at x intercept equals to x equals to 1, the graph will cross through the x axis. But at these two zeros, it will bounce back. Now, important thing to get is end behavior. How will you get end behavior? Which terms should you look for to get the end behavior? Well, the leading coefficient and the degree, they give you the end behavior. Now, what is the degree of this polynomial? Degree is the highest power. So when you multiply them, because they are given in the factored form, so the degree is 2 plus 1 plus 2. So 2, 3, 4 and 5. So the degree is, degree which normally we say a to the power of n equals to 5. So this is an odd degree function. That makes it odd degree. How about the leading coefficient? Leading coefficient is how much? Number 2 plus 2 which is positive. So if you have an odd degree function and leading coefficient as positive, what do you expect as the end behavior? Odd degree means both ends will be on the opposite sides and a leading coefficient of positive means right side up. That means our graph will go from quadrant 3 to 1. Do you get it? Yes. Now another important point is to find y-intercept. How will you find y-intercept? y-intercept is a point where x is equal to 0. So in a factored form just put x equals to 0. In this case, if you put x equals to 0, this term will be 0. 0 times anything will be 0. Therefore, y-intercept is the origin. So at x equals to 0, we have a y-intercept, y equals to 0. Okay? Now, given all this information, it is very easy for us to sketch a graph. Let's do it. So we'll just draw a number line. In fact, a coordinate system. Here it is. Let's say this is our 0 and now let's place the zeros on this. 1 0 is at x equals to 0. Well, here it is. Second one is at x equals to 1. Let's say this is our 1. And the third one is at x equals to minus 2. So this is 1 and this will be our minus 2. So these are our zeros. Correct? Now, what is the order of these zeros? The order is 
for let's start from left to right this zero okay let me also come back to behavior and behavior is for an odd degree function with positive leading coefficient so if it is odd and positive odd means opposite ends correct positive means right side up so right side up means it has to go like this here and then down this side so our graph is moving from quadrant 3 to quadrant 4 with something in between with the details which we are going to get from these zeros correct so let's go to minus 2 what is the degree of r0 the order or multiplicity of r0 it is 2 so then the graph when we sketch it will bounce back like this and at 0 again x equals to 0 the multiplicity or the order is 2 so we are on this side of the graph it will again bounce back because if the multiplicity is 2 it is going to turn like a parabola it is not going to cross the line but here at x equals to 1 we have a 0 with order 1 so it will cross like a line like a straight line do you see that now what we are going to do is just connect them and draw our graph so here is it so we can so like this and now we got to connect these two points to the smooth curve there it goes and this point with this and go straight like this so this parabola represents the function fx equals to 2x square x minus 1 times x plus 2 whole square you see that you can check it <coughs> The degree of the polynomial 2 plus 1, 3 plus 2, 5. That means odd, opposite ends. That's the end behavior. Leading coefficient, positive, right side up. So it goes from quadrant 3 to 1. Zeros, at x equals to 0, we have a 0 with multiplicity or order 2. So it bounces back at <coughs> x equals to, I should have written, yeah, here it is, minus 2. So this is our 0 at minus 2, correct? And this 0 is at 0, <coughs> and this 0 is at 1. So at 0, we again have a 0 with multiplicity 2. It bounces back and then returns and crosses the line in a linear function since this 0 has is like a linear 0. The factor is x minus 1, like a line, okay? Now, I'll give you another example. Let's go. This is the second example. We will follow the same steps. I hope this time you get it yourself without much of my help. So I like you to go ahead of me. So first thing, what I am going to do this time, we need not maintain this order. Okay? We can change our order. But the important thing is we have to get all these things. Okay? So we can start with end behavior. So let's look into the end behavior first. How will you get the end behavior? End behavior you can get by checking first the degree of your polynomial. Correct? So what's the degree? Degree is they are factor. They get multiplied. So when they get multiplied, these exponents get added up. So let's add them up. 5, 2 plus 5, 7 plus 1, 8. So degree is 8. That means even degree polynomial correct second leading coefficient what is the leading coefficient well these factors are one therefore when they get multiplied with this we get minus half so leading coefficient is negative now if we have an even degree function that means both sides are in the same direction either they both are up or down leading coefficient will decide whether they are up or down leading coefficient is negative that means they are down so the behavior is like this do you get it yes and now we will analyze our zeros zeros you remember how are zeros different from x intercepts at x intercepts zeros decide the behavior of our graph Right? The order or the multiplicity of 0 decides the behavior of the 
graph at x intercepts. So they are not just simply x intercepts, okay? Let's equate each factor to 0 to get our zeros. So first one is x plus 4, let's equate it to 0. So we get what? x equals to minus 4. The second one is x plus 1 equate to 0. So we get x equals to minus 1. The third one, x minus 2 equals to 0. We get x equals to 2. Now, let's look into multiplicity. Why am I using these two terms, multiplicity and order? Because that's how it is. Some books use multiplicity, sometimes order. So, it's a number of zeros at the same point, correct? So, multiplicity for x equals to minus 4 is 1. At x plus 4, this multiplicity is 5. And how about this? At 2, it is 2. Correct? Now, these are all real zeros. So, when we add them up, it adds to the degree of our polynomial. 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 2 8. That's what we get. Do you see that? 8 degree. Now, how about y-intercept? y-intercept is plug in 0 for x. So, that means g0, which will be minus half. And when you plug in 0, we get 4 here, right? Times 1 to the power of 5 times minus 2 square, which is equal to what? Minus 2 square is plus 4. Remember? 1. 4 times 1 is 1. And 4 times 4, 16. 16 divided by 2, 8. But with this negative sign, it becomes minus 8. Okay? So, we have y-intercept of minus 8. Now, with all this information, which is enough to sketch? What is the information? End behavior. First thing, which we get because of degree and leading coefficient. And then, zeros and their multiplicity, okay? And lastly, y-intercept. Let's sketch it. We'll draw a line. There it goes. Now, mark our zeros. Where are the zeros? x equals to minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is our x equals to minus 4. Then, x equals to minus 1. This is x equals to minus 1. And then, x equals to 2. 1, 2. Okay. This is 2. Now, end behavior is, as you've seen, even function with negative leading coefficient. Both sides are down. So, we'll start from this side. Okay? You could start from here also. It doesn't matter. Okay? So, here, the first 0 we hit is minus 4. And that is of multiplicity 1. So, it just crosses the line. The second one is minus 1. And this time, it is of order or multiplicity 5. Now, how is 5 different from 3? 5 is more flat. So, what we will do is, we will make it very, very flat. flat okay? So, this kind of 5, we are trying to make it very flat. Okay? Now, at 2, we have a 0, which is of 2 multiplicity. So, this will bounce back. And, of course, when it bounces back, we will get back to the state. So, end behavior is perfectly matching with our 0 structure. So now, just join these lines. So this is our polynomial. We just join them, okay? Here it goes. And this goes, this goes like this, and it has to come here. You can try once or twice. Like this and this, okay? And this is easy, right? There it goes. So this function represents gx. We can write gx here, and x here. Is it okay? So that's how it is. I hope you understand now how to sketch polynomials, correct? So, the best points to look for is, the only things to look for is end behavior, which you get from leading coefficient and degree, zeros, their multiplicity, and y-intercept. Now, y-intercept was minus 8. Let me put that minus 8 here. Minus 8. Do you see, I didn't make any scale for y-axis. It's too tough to make. You know, sometimes the value could be 1000, right? So, it's very difficult to make. The best thing is, wherever you get that y-intercept, mark that point and write it. Minus 8. Done. So, this is good enough sketch for our purpose. Okay? Thank you.